In this three-part demonstration by Mantisa Corporation, you will be shown a small Linux kernel running under our Z86 virtual machine product. In the first phase, you will see the Linux kernel's booting process and debugging messages. The second part of the demo is the compilation and execution of a C program. This program th creates a thread for the client and runs a server on another thread. The communication between the two parts is via a TCP IP connection. The third and final part of the demo is to run a disk utility in order to correct errors due to abrupt shutdowns of the kernel. This utility is our intensive. So let's start the demo. Okay, now we're going to start the uh, Z86 virtual machine. We're going to answer a couple questions there. And now we're going to wait on the VNC client to connect to the virtual machine. And there it is. So we're now to get the screen in a few seconds. And let's see here. And there it is. That's the main screen. Now that's the virtual machine running. And now we're going to select the base Mantisa option. And now the kernel is going to start booting. Okay, now we're going to start booting the Linux kernel. This is really the loader as you're going to see in a few seconds. There you go. That's the loader. Um, let's steal the loader here. We're still getting more debugging messages we'll, when we see the Nopix. That's when we start loading the actual the actual kernel. And if you say it goes, Nopix is booting now, and that's gonna get a lot of the messages right now. This is really drivers being loaded at this point in time, and we're about to get into the configuration of the uh, of the hardware devices uh, for the machine. And um, you can see in a few seconds he starts now. There we go. Okay, this is gonna take about 15, 20 seconds, I believe. This is this is the equivalent of the plug and play of Windows. And uh, so it's basically scanning devices and uh, loading the drivers as, as they as they show up uh, on the bus. So it's the most finished and now so now we're in the final phase here. Uh, we're gonna go into the C loop. Um, and uh, this basically finalizes the loading of a few more drivers, uncompressing drivers. Actually, that's what they're gonna do. And we're gonna see the prompt in a few seconds now. Okay, now that we have the prompt, now we're gonna move on to the uh, uh, this, this is the second part of the, of the demo. We're gonna edit the uh, C program. Uh, we're gonna make some changes to it, and uh, then we're gonna compile it and run it. So now I'm really using VI, the VI editor, to modify the um, the message, and there is some typing now and making the change. So this is very simple. Um, then we're gonna save it, and now okay, we're gonna run the there you go, we're gonna run the compiler, and it's running now. Now it's finished. All right, now we're gonna run it. Now that the program has run, um, you can see at the bottom of the screen I put a squ uh, white square brackets around the message. You can see it clearly uh, that the program ran uh, and it launched two threads. Now we can, let's get ready for the third part of this demo, which is the disk uh, check. In the last part of the demo, now we're going to uh, do a disk check on the hard drive. Um, first, we're going to mount the drive. First thing you got to do. And then we're going to do a disk check on it. Uh, it will check every sector on the drive. I don't think it's going to find any errors on the, um, on this drive today. Um, let me see. That's past one. Yeah, it's past two. Should be coming up pretty pretty soon, I believe. And um, I don't think it's going to find any errors. I don't expect it to. Uh, and then we're going to then I, once it's, this is finished, we're going to reboot the machine, and that that's the end of the demo. Um, as you can see, this uh, this is a very it is a live kernel, live Linux kernel running. And uh, showing you that the the, uh, the Mantisa Z86 virtual machine it, it is operational, it is working, uh, and it can boot uh, kernels. Uh, obviously, we're using DSL in this case, uh, the latest version that they have. And um, so, this is no longer vaporware. Thank you again.